The Vegas market is steamy, baby. It is steamy out there, man. The tensions are high. The prices are out of control. People are having trouble hitting their cash flow numbers. Does that sound like you? It might, right? I assume it does. I mean, if it didn't, why the hell did you click this video, bro? There's, like, way more stuff you could be watching. Why don't you rewatch friggin' Will slapping Chris Rock a hundred more times, folks? Come on. If you're here, it's because you're tired of that. You're trying to make some money, and that's what I help you do. So Vegas Landlords, I want to talk to you guys about getting into Section 8 rentals, getting a beautiful house, only spending twenty five grand, having my team take over all the on-the-ground work for you right now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. I am James Wise, and I help Vegas landlords like you make money, right? Today, I'm working with my guy Jake, right? Jake, you're down there in Las Vegas, Nevada. And you know what? You're like, dog, the rents, they're just not high enough to justify the pricing, James. What can we do? Can we get stuff in other markets that you could handle the on-the-ground work for me and I could still live here in Vegas and do my thing? Yeah, dog. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, Jake, I'm going to go over a property for you today. We're going to put a tenant in there for about 1,200 bones every single month, and it's only going to cost you about 26 grand. Imagine doing that in Vegas, folks. Not possible. Maybe years passed right after the big recession, possibly. But this is 2022, y'all. It ain't like that no more, right? So we got to think outside the box. That's what you're doing, Jake. You're like, okay. I live in Vegas, but what I need to do, my way to make money as a landlord, it's not going to, you know, it's not going to pencil out in Vegas, right? The numbers just don't fit, so I'm going to expand my horizons, work with Holton Wise, because Holton Wise helps people like me every day, baby. Now, folks, if you like what I'm about to do for Jake, you know, you're obviously going to need to continue to watch the rest of the show because I'm about to, you know, get into the property and all that jazz. If you like this and you want to work with me in the same way, click the notes under this video to book a call at my team. It's free. We'll help you get started. We'll help you go over the process of working with me one-on-one. Because what you're about to see, people, I sent this to Jake many, many months ago, right? If you're just watching this, you're probably like, whoa, why is this dude making, like, Will Jada jokes? Like, that was, like, six months ago, right? I'm not just rehashing old jokes, folks. I filmed this that long ago, and I sent it to Jake privately. I only release these publicly on Holton Wise TV after the deals are gone. So... The deal we're going over, that's Jakey's deal, y'all. That ain't your fucking deal. It's just here for you all to learn and understand. If you want to work with me in real time, you got to click the notes below to book that free call. Jake, let me take a little quick commercial break, get a little hydrated, and we're going to go over the numbers, the market, how it's all going to pan out right after that. Hi, my name is Terry. And given my unique status as an undead killer clown, I found my job opportunities to be fairly limited throughout my life. Then, once the COVID shutdowns hit, I, like many other Americans, found myself in a really tough financial position. After I lost my job, I couldn't even take care of my wife and kids, let alone think about anything like financial freedom. All my hope was lost. I was stuck in a downward spiral of despair and drinking. I was looking for answers, but I didn't know where to turn. I didn't know what to do. Then, then one day, everything changed for me. I discovered Holton Wise TV and how to invest in real estate. And my whole world, my whole outlook changed. And it could do the same for you if you click the link below. Welcome back, folks. Glad you're still here. Hope you enjoyed that little commercial, right? That guy, Terry. Terry, we changed his life, y'all. We changed his life. That's what we do here. Took him from killer clown to real estate investor, just like that. We're life-changing, okay? 
And this deal right here, folks, this is another deal you could do to help you hit them numbers, right? Look at this thing. Nice little brick house here, okay? This is just a nice, stable investment, right? This is in the Cleveland area, folks. If you Google uh, best cash for markets, Cleveland always pops up. Look at this. This is a nice little house. They even got their little... Fancy little bar action, man. Them, those some cool ass stools. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling these. Woo boy! Little fancy light fixture up, up above that couch, man. This is this a nice looking pad, right? And uh, <clears throat> this is the kind of investment you want, right? This picture right here, by the way, this tells us quite a bit about the investment, folks. See this right here, right there? That's that's big time, right there. That's a brand spanking new looking hot water tank, right? In 2022, those cost like 1200 bucks to replace. They last about 15 years, so that's something you don't got to mess with, right? So all told, as you can see, right, the tenants, they take pretty good care of this place. They got a nice-looking nice, nice looking little pad, right? It's, it's uh, pretty cool here, a little man cave action, a little Browns fan. Can't be hating anybody if they're a Browns fan. Let's go. Let's go, y'all. Deshaun Watson, going to get them touchdowns. Dude, I wonder, I wonder, because I'm filming this like six months prior to y'all watching this right now, I wonder if Deshaun got suspended or not, man. I don't know. But uh, that's I guess that's not really important. What is important is this. Brand spanking new furnace, right? Those cost like about three, thirty five hundred. They last about thirty years. So some some things you don't gotta deal with. Right here, it's another great thing. See that? That's AC. In the Cleveland market, it's actually not the norm to have uh, central air in all of the rental properties. So that is a big, big thing. It's gonna keep tenants in your properties for a long time reducing turnover right so the house is great the house is nice the cleveland market cleveland market's pretty cool right i'm sure a lot of you are like man it's one of the best cash flow markets now not every single uh property in the cleveland market's going to be equal right not every neighborhood's going to be equal that's what we do here we help you guys do the due diligence as a matter of fact you could google this you can click the notes below you can go to the tools and resources tab on holdwise.com and find this the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. That's incredibly important. I graded all the neighborhoods on an A to F scale in the city of Cleveland. Now, I even took some heat for this, right? I got multiple uh, freaking chode-tugging liberal news organizations out there writing articles about me, calling me a racist because I wrote this article, right? Uh, because I graded the neighborhoods, and they're like, oh, how could you say this neighborhood's an F? You must be racist. But, folks... We're just being pragmatic. We didn't, we didn't base the guide on the racial makeup of these neighborhoods. We based it on the uh, after repair values of properties in that particular neighborhood. We based it upon the level of crime in that particular neighborhood. We give uh, investors like you the ability to understand uh, what's going on in the market, right? Because there's areas of Cleveland that you could buy a single family house like this for half of this price and get the same market rent. But, uh, what you need to understand is that could also be on a house where every other house is boarded up or torn down and, you know, the local gang lives there. There's drugs. There's just nothing but problems. And anytime your house goes vacant, it's getting broken into, right? I feel like these are things you guys as investors need to know, right? So all them liberals who like to write those articles about me, well, I guess they could fuck themselves because uh, guess what? This is Holton Wise TV, baby. You can't cancel Holton Wise TV because Holton Wise TV don't give a fuck about cancel culture, y'all motherfucking pussy bitches. Now, anywho, that guide, I graded this neighborhood uh, as a B. It's a B neighborhood, okay? I graded this as a B neighborhood, right? A to F, right? F is going to be the cheapest properties, uh, but they're going to come with the highest level of risk. A, right, conversely, is going to be the most expensive properties, but they're going to come with the lowest level of risk. I put this as a B. So it's a very safe, stable neighborhood, and which is a very inconvenient truth for the uh, liberals out there writing those articles about me. Uh, this particular neighborhood, not that this is anything that should ever factor in uh, to your investment strategy, 
we don't like look at this data. We don't look at this type of data when we're uh, running our rental property portfolio. We don't look at racial makeup of our tenants or anything. But I do find it funny those liberals talking their smack about me because this particular neighborhood that I've graded as a B has a higher African American population than probably like 30 different neighborhoods. I've graded lower than this. So that's the thing with those liberals writing their articles about me. They're they, they're void of fact, folks. They're void of fact, right? But that's cancel culture. And again, cancel culture can suck the big one. You know what I'm saying? So moral of the story is this is a great, safe, stable investment property in what I consider a B-grade neighborhood. Another thing I really like about this neighborhood is we just a couple years ago got a new Amazon fulfillment center built there, right? Love that, right? Just a ton of friggin' jobs that pay like the perfect amount for what you want, right? Your tenant base. Now, all that said, uh, I believe they're gonna want list price. They're 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 asking 1049, and we gotta give it to them because we're gonna make a ton of money. Market rent about 1,200 a month, folks. 1,200 a month, right? So after running your fixed and variable expense estimates, having Holton Wise manage uh, the property for you. Uh, you're looking at an average yearly NOI of about 6760 Now, I also have things in there factored, like $720 you are saving every year for cap expenditures, right? I talked about that furnace. I talked about that hot water tank, right? You don't got to replace those for 15, 30 years, but eventually you're going to have to drop that money. So that 720 that I have in that line item, that's actually going to you, uh, but I don't let you uh, consider that your ROI because eventually you're going to need to spend that money. So you'll have it now. And that's the thing, right, with this having central air, uh, you're going to have fewer turnovers, right? If you have a house that has central air versus one that doesn't have central air, you're going to have much fewer turnovers. And turnovers are what directly relates to your repair and maintenance costs as well as your vacancy and non-payment of rent. Conversely, if you have a property in a B neighborhood versus a D neighborhood, uh, over the course of your ownership of your real estate portfolio, guess what? You're going to evict a lot less tenants. Now, nothing is guaranteed in this business. There's an unlimited amount of variables at play at all times. But, folks, I sold $200 million for this stuff. I've dealt with thousands and thousands of tenants, right? If you buy a property in a D neighborhood versus a B neighborhood, you're dealing with more tenant problems. That is what it is. You want to write an article calling me a shithead? Go ahead. But, you know, that's fact. I, I live in the real world, folks. I don't live in fantasy liberal land where fucking unicorns are floating around farting out rainbows, all right? I live in the real world, and I am here to help make my investors money. And we make money by analyzing real data, not sniffing unicorn farts. So, with that said... Purchase price, 1049. You put down 26225 Bank kicks in 78000 That would net out to a long-term cash-on-cash return of 11%. One thing to note, though, the current rent is not 1200 folks. Don't get too excited. The current seller is uh, also a realtor. They're renting this for a net rent of eight. Seventy-five. They're actually renting it for eight hundred, but having their tenants pay water and sewer. Uh, but that's really a rent for you of eight seventy-five, with you paying water and sewer. Uh, with me giving you the twelve hundred estimate, that's with you paying water and sewer because you have to pay water and sewer. Uh, this agent's making a mistake. They are a mom and pop. They don't. They're not really in the landlording business. Uh, unfortunately, I wish it was a different way. It's not. The way uh, Ohio landlord tenant laws are written and the way the Cleveland Division of Water operates, you can't effectively pass the water and sewer bill on to your tenants. It just doesn't work. Uh, I actually have an entire like big old article written about that on the facts section of HoltonWise.com. Uh, I wish we could. I really do. But we fucking can't. So you got to deal with it, right? So read that article. Uh, we got to get the tenants from 875 to 1200. I would love to do that without a turnover. And the best way to do that is to slowly increase their rent. Uh, don't go like immediately up to the 1200. I'd probably kick it up 100 bucks every year until you get them there because you're still going to make money when the rent's a little lower, right? You make the most money by keeping like the fewest amount of tenants in your properties possible, right? If you own a property for 30 years and some other dude owns a property for 30 years and the other dude is always getting like 200 bucks a month in rent more than you, but your tenants are staying like five to 10 years and his tenants are turning over every two years, you're going to make a lot more money than he would. So anyway, you slice it. I dig this deal quite a bit. Let me know if you want to make an offer. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.